and we're back for another episode. In this episode we're going to be carrying on the story of Shadowbringers. And as always, hello from Ifri. So we are here in the Crystarium at 12.7 and we need to talk to Yuri Ange. The next quest is called To Storm Tossed Seas. Yuri Ange is patiently awaiting word that you are ready to depart. Fine affairs are in order, then I shall unfold to thee my proposal. Our destination is the ocean floor, yet our goal is not simply to arrive there. Nay, we must needs have the means to breathe and fight freely. Thus I would petition the aid of one of the Fey, being with whom I have yet to meet face to face. Rather than waste words on explanation, I bid thee follow me on to the hamlet of Sullen, which lieth to the south and west. All will become abundantly clear, I promise thee. Alrighty. Okay, so we're gonna head over there. So, once we get there, we will continue. Okay, so we made it. So let's talk to him. Um, there, to the west, can't thou discern the hump of an isle rising above the water? That foliage-covered mass hideth the key to our safe descent. Swim close and plunge beneath the surface. Thou shalt soon divine the reason for mine insistence. Uh, though it be much to my shame, I can but flail and flounder where thou mayest glide as a fish. I shall board a boat to the island and spare one and all the spectacle of mine inept strokes. I mean, he could have summarized that with three words. Me swim bad. Okay. So, from the looks of it, shall I assume that this is actually like a massive turtle or something like that? It's going to be one of those things. It's like it's, it's a creature of some kind. Anyway, let's... Um, yes, let's go underneath. I wonder if you always could go underneath. That looks like an eyeball to me. So, two curved slabs of rock seem squeezed together here giving the impression of a giant stone eyelid. Yep. So, though it appears solid enough, the rock yields slightly under your touch. Was the surface gently shifting or was it just your imagination? Okay, so let's go back and talk to Urianje because uh, you know, lo, why not? Okay, where is he? So well. What has thou discerned? I've discerned that it's an ordinary island. It reminds me of a certain primal. It's just like the big one. Yes, yes. Most perceptive. According to the lore of the Pixies, we are, even now, perched upon the back of an ancient Fey entity. Its name is Bismarck. Aye, the self-same title by which we know the great feathered whale, uh, revered by the Vanu Vanu of the source. I would enlist its aid to bear us into, onto the deep, and then banish the water with an airy sphere, alike in the form of... Sorry, alike in form to the domes which do shelter the hamlets neath the ruby sea. Within its compass, we may move unencumbered and defend ourselves when the hour of battle cometh. As it most surely shall. Now, I need ask for silence while I make my supplication. Or 
awesome. Sach, Bilan Bismail. Ada si alinal. Van urs atslir. Olfothim. Iri kuat si. Oh dear. I don't need to speak Fey to know that didn't go well. So, I know what to do. We need felt all. to scrub this one's teeth for him upon your return. It's only good manners. It will be done, your majesty. Our deepest thanks for your timely intervention. An agreement is reached and your departure is at hand. You wingless ones best hold on tight. May the blessings of the Fae keep you safe in Ba. Sorry, let me translate. He said, subscribe to Mifri. Do it. The deep voice has spoken. Just like that, it's all gone back to the way it was. What was you expecting? Hundred years of honey and rainbows? Seeing them Yulmore types wake up and smell the ashes was miracle enough for me. Ah, but the magic in the air when that ladder started moving. <laughs> and when that great hulking Talos rose up! Gods. 
I could live a thousand years and never behold anything so amazing. What the? Do you see that? What a monster! Where did it even come from? Uh oh. Whoa, 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 yeah. It's not stopping. Run! Run! Okay, what he also said was, when you subscribe, also ring the bell, so you won't miss any videos uploaded. The breath of Bismarck. See how it swells to form a dome beneath the waves? The waters recede. The tempest's floor is laid bare. In defiance of the blinding sky, this place holds fast to its gloom. The last refuge of he who denies the light with every fiber of his being. You stand at the precipice, hero. Journey unto the heart of darkness. Finish it. Awesome. Nice. So, full glad am I that Bismarck was true to his word. We are right in the temper, safe and dry. It is here that we shall find the lair of Emmet Selk, and I believe the imprisoned Exarch as well. For Inassian alone, it is of course a trifling matter to flee onto the rift, yet I suspect such travel is nigh impossible with a mortal in one custody. Nay, he would not soon risk his prize when the Exarch's very body serveth as the key to the Crystal Tower and his powers of temporal teleportation. Thus, I, am I all but certain that this underwater realm harboreth our friend and enemy both? We have but to find them. Cool. So, in the event that you leave the area, speak with Enuel at the Venmont Yards in Colosia to return to the Tempest. Awesome. So, that quest was called... Um, sorry, this one. Oh, we've done a lot of quests. To Storm Tossed Seas. Okay. So, the next quest... It's called Waiting in the Depths. 
So Fancred casts his gaze across the waterless expanse before you. Now, as far for where we should be looking, I rather doubt Emmett Selp will be sitting around in the open. I propose we follow the slope downwards towards the deeper trenches and keep an eye out for the rock formations large enough to house a stronghold. Let's be off then, but watch your footing. The ground is still wet and like to be slippery. Awesome. Let's quickly examine like, how big this zone is. Oh wow, this zone is quite huge. Anyway, when we get to the next destination, we will continue. Okay, so we made it to Aquaban, so let's talk to him. Yeah. Alrighty. So I guess we have to follow him. As long as they're friendly. I guess we can try and attune ourselves to the a fright here as well. Alright. So let's attune to the a fright. So we can teleport back here whenever we like. So, the finless one. They followed me. Why have you come? Was it you who took away our water? Ah, so this is where Ondo make their home. I had wondered. Pray forgive us for any convenience we have caused. We were not aware your people lived here in the Tempest. We need this great dome of air that we might conduct a most urgent search and thus beg you for your understanding chieftain what are we to do are you emissaries of the ancient ones So, the mysteries have stirred. We have seen the illuminated land shining through the gloom of the abyss. If you are the emissaries, the chosen, I bid you welcome. If you are not, I bid you leave. I am. Uh, not sure I understand. Uh, would you be able to elaborate? I seem not. I suggest we withdraw for the moment. So, what's the plan given your condition? I'm reluctant to suggest lingering here. That said, our presently meandering search would proceed far more swiftly if we could call upon the Ondo's local knowledge. Yes, I'd like to know more about this illuminated land the Chieftain spoke of. Could it be Emmett Sulk's stronghold, do you suppose? Perhaps he lit the lanterns upon his return? We cannot dismiss the possibility, but if Ondo refused to speak with us... Mifri, do you remember my first scheme for entering Yulmore? How I had planned to ingratiate myself by offering lucrative trading opportunities with the Ondo. The individual I dealt with was uh, re recitant, res re reticent in manner and curious in custom. There's so many English words I just don't know. But we were able to reach an agreement nonetheless. I believe that with the right approach we can build a similar relationship here. What kind of approach did you have in mind? That chieftain fellow didn't leave us many options. If we are to tread the swiftest course, and we must needs locate its beginning, it is plain um, our all too dramatic arrival has thrown the settlement into confusion. 
were we to solve such problems as we have caused and assure our hosts thereby that our purpose here is not an any mickle to them whatever that means and uh, they may yet prove amenable to reason I smell chores but very well if it can be done quickly what do you think? I've got nothing better to offer, but I do worry that will happen if Ondo's tails end up leading us to a dead end. I cannot say for certain, but I sense this tribe has a deeper connection to the Asians than first meets the eye. It warrants further investigation. Uh, thus, I cast my vote in favour of aiding the settlement for the time being. I made the... Allies of the Ondo. Let's do what we do best. I'll do what I can, I suppose. Then it's settled. Just hold it. Pray proceed with your investigations. The rest of us will see about fostering some goodwill. Okay. Let's talk to Alpha Node now. So, Mifri, you won't believe who just I just bumped into. This is Porsche's um, Uwan, the very fellow I did business with prior to our ill-fated stay in Yormor. I waited, and you did not come. Then the Maestal came and his visits did not continue. I'm truly sorry that uh, things did not proceed as planned. That all we can do by way of an apology? Perhaps, where the dry return, a cavern to the north, is home to giant crabs. We do not fear the crab, for we are the swifter swimmers. But now there is no water. We run and they scuttle close behind snipping and snapping with their claws. There are too many of them. Too many. I believe I can be of assistance there. And what of you, Mifri? If you've not found a task, you are most welcome to join me. Indeed, I should appreciate the company, where the dry return has a rather ominous ring to it. Right. Okay, so we have to travel quite a distance. So once we get there, we will continue. Okay, so now we have to defeat three giant crabs. Let's do it. I remember these crabs from Pharmacy 11. Sightseeing log down there. Okay, let's see if we can find a third one. Yeah, there's loads. There. And done. Okay. So we let's teleport straight back. I'm really close to level 80. I am 7 million experience away. I mean, to put it in perspective, 
when I did one main scenario roulette level 78, it gave me 12 million EXP. Uh, you could crap the skulls. You must be stronger than you look. I see you've reached your quota first again. I shall never be your equal in such tasks. Still, I would say that we have reduced the local crab population to a far less threatening number. My thanks to both of you. You must have a reward. Nay, this was to be part of my apology to you, remember? Besides which, the lack of water is our doing, for which we must also make amends. Might I convince you to tell us something about your village instead? I would very much like to learn more of you and your people. Very well. Before the flood came, it is said that our ancestral home was found in the seas to the south. It was utterly destroyed by the light. Only those who were out hunting survived. They swarm aimless and lost until they spied buildings here on the ocean floor. Strange buildings they were and long had they stood under the water yet somehow they had been spared the scars of time and current. These structures provided shelter for my people, protection from the tempest, turbulent waters and the predators which hunted within them. Their very existence seemed a miracle. First settlers pondered their good fortune. It was clear that the race had built such wonders, had guided their course, and from this did they discern the truth. That the ancients had chosen us to serve as the caretakers of their eternal sanctuary until such time as they returned. Thus, if it is judged that uh, your coming and this great vanishing of water was by the ancients design, you will find warm welcome here. Truly astonishing history, yet I cannot help but wonder, how will the significance how will the significance or otherwise of our arrival be decided? The ancients have blessed us with protection and prosperity. If your presence serves to bring us the same, there will no doubt there will be no doubt in the matter. Then it would seem our earlier dis decision was a correct one. We thank you for the lesson and will continue to do all we can to assist your people. Should you desire our help with any other trouble, pray do not hesitate to ask. We should return to the task at hand, only do try not to overexert yourself, my friend. The risk far outweighs the gain. Cool. Right, so the next quest we need to do is called City of the Ancients. Yishtolip is deep in thought. So, hey Mifri, have you learned aught of note? Oh, fascinating, and precisely the sort of information I was hoping to hear. In fact, if you have a moment, I'd like to borrow your eyes to confirm a theory I've been working on. Come. Okay, so where do we need to go to see her? There, okay. So once we get to her, we will continue. Okay, here we are with Yishtola. Let's carry on. So now there are two tasks I would have you perform. The first requires you to inspect the buildings which surround the Ondo settlement and note their distinctive characteristics. 
For the second, I wish you to use this knife to take scrappings from one of the remnant walls. Pray be as far as you can. I shall be waiting here for the results of your investigations. Fair enough. Okay, so let's see this survey point. So inspect the structures of the undercups for distinctive features. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out, target building and examine with left click. So the tall slender towers feature many elaborate windows, the likes of which you have seen nowhere else. Okay, so that's that one done. Next. Let's use a mithril knife to collect scrappings from the remnant wall. So you set the point of the knife against the wall, but even after applying considerable pressure, you cannot remove so much as a flake of stone. Okay. Okay, here's your Stola. Let's talk to her. And what have you discovered? Yes, I would agree that the windows are most distinctive. It would seem the structures appear the same to both your sight and mine. And you say that you could not so much as scratch the wall, even with all the might behind your blade? So, Mifri, everywhere I turn in this place, I gaze is drawn by peculiar materials for which I do not have a name. The buildings I had you investigate are prime examples. They may appear to be constructed of ordinary stone, but I assure you it's nothing of the sort. If pressed, I would describe the substance as a composite of several mineral properties, blended to create a material of unparalleled durability. Even the Ronkin Empire, once the greatest power in Overrand, produced nothing which compares to this level of perfection. But if not the Ronka, then who? Who were these ancients beyond their claim as the architects of their sanctuary? I suspect our answer lies with the reason Emmet Selk withdrew here to the Tempest. Uh, he may simply have wished to retreat somewhere mere mortals would struggle to reach, but there are many such remote locations. Why here specifically? Emmet Selk is devoted to his role, and thus we might assume his choice of stronghold somewhere serves the Asian agenda. Or mayhap, tis a place more dear to him than any other. Are you saying that this was built by ancient Asians? Could this place provide power to Emma Sulk? Um, that was my first thought as well. Yet no matter how superior the materials, a ruin is just a ruin. There's naught that would decide a battle's outcome. Which brings us to my second theory, uh, that he has some other, more personal connection to this site. What if these structures are remnants of a time before history, of a star that was yet whole and unbroken? Such traces in the source would have been obliterated by the succession of umbral calamities, but there in the first they might have remained untouched for millennia.
So a copy of the mural from the Katana Ravel, all met presented to me during the visit to Fano, after our victory in Colusia. So here is the first scene. By Emmett Hulk's own words, it depicts a city of Eon's past and the disaster which befell it. The design is much simplified of course, but do you see the similarities between the towers and those you have just inspected? We are close to the truth, I feel. Let us search the surroundings for another tower, one which matches a picture near enough to remove all doubt. From what I have seen, not more than sand, and more sand lies to the east, and the south held no such structures. I suggest we try our luck further to the northwest. Let's see. So it says you may view the Katana Ravel Mora at any time during this quest by using the relevant item in the key items menu. The quest destination will not be displayed on the map. You must search for a structure which resembles the buildings in the mural, then inspect it from the survey point. The survey point will be found nearby, in a location which a full view of the structure. Cool. So, okay, let me um, try initially to work this out, and we will continue. Okay, so I had a quick look around, and looked around all this area, and then I found my way towards here, to 2211, and I found this glittering survey point. So, it looks like this is the right structure. So, if we look at the design... It's not exactly right. I don't know if it is right, but whatever. Let's, let's see if it works. I guess it was. Hi, oh, this is the mural writ large. Uh, though I cannot guess at its purpose, it must have been an imposing sight. How much of the tower's height lies hidden beneath the ground, I wonder? Centuries of our history have settled upon such ruins. Countless layers of dust and sediment. An entire civilization, its existence forgotten by all except a handful of Asians. And yet, it did exist. They lived here in this city. But let us focus on what we've learned thus far. The Yondu chieftain spoke of mysteries stirring, of a land illuminated. Judging by his words, he believes this phenomenon related to the ancient's return. Thus can we surmise that what the Yondu saw shining in the abyss was, in all likelihood, yet another remnant of this age-old civilization. And who else would light the lanterns, as uh, Reen put it, than Emmett Selk himself? It is almost certain he is there. Awesome. Let's talk to her. So, but if we are to find this stronghold in a timely manner, it seems gaining the Ondo's trust remains our swiftest path forward. I only hope our deeds are enough to win them over. Cool. Alright. Well, I think it's a good time to end this episode. So anyway guys, if you like that episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there, you can watch the latest upload down there, or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you guys, bye bye.